And in this context, I would like to highlight uh, seven points. First point is that the Indian economy remains resilient. It has withstood successive global shocks over the last three years. <coughs> Each shock came with unprecedented suddenness and uh, spillovers. Major economies are still reeling under their pressure. However, Indian economy amidst all this remains resilient. The second point is that inflation has shown signs of moderation. <coughs> I repeat, inflation has shown signs of moderation and the worst is behind us. But there are concerns around core inflation. We cannot take our eyes off inflation. Third, we are now witnessing conducive conditions of macroeconomic stability as reflected in moderation in inflation, fiscal consolidation, and the expectation that the current account deficit is likely to narrow in the coming quarters. Fourth, the Indian rupee has remained one of the least volatile currencies among its Asian peers. <coughs> in 2022 and continues to be so this year also. Fifth, the real policy rate has moved into positive territory and the banking system has ex exited from the chakra view of excess liquidity without causing any disruption. Monetary policy transmission is also picking up. Sixth, on liquidity, the Reserve Bank will remain flexible and responsive to the requirements of the productive sectors of the economy. And seventh and the final point is that we in the Reserve Bank of India stand resolute to deal with all future challenges.